All right, I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown of the equipment I use on my trap line. I'm going to start with my traps. One of my favorite traps still today is just the one and a half. I use a Duke. You know, uh, a lot of people want to bash Duke for their traps, but uh, a Duke is a good trap. There's a coyote, fox, muskrat, coon. One and a half foot hold, you know, it gets the job done, it'll hold a coon. It's just all about having your pan tension set correct. That's about half a pound to one pound on my uh, foot holds for coon. I'm sure you're all familiar with the, uh, the dog proof. Again, this is a Duke. Instead of staking my uh, dog proof solid, what I do is I take aircraft cable, hook it onto the swivel here, make a loop at one end, and I can wrap that right around the tree, bring my trap back through that looped end, hold, hold snug, caught up there, hold snug around that tree, just set that trap right in the ground. No trap or stake involved, quick and easy. Way to get those dog proofs set. Another trap I use a lot of is 160. I'll use this on trail sets. And I'll use stakes such as this, wire it off too. Sometimes I'll use a bucket set to fit perfect inside the bucket. 220 is just a little too big, and I don't like the round buckets, they tend to wobble. A kitty. I'll use a cage trap time to time when I'm near uh, houses in town, even. Sometimes uh, town folk will call me and ask me to come and catch some coons, so I will use a cage trap. I'm old fashioned, I still use rebar stakes. I haven't hit the disposable stake fad yet, but maybe one of these days I will. As far as making water sets and needing a spade, uh, that's something I don't normally do till later in the season. I still find most of my coon eating uh, corn. You know, they haven't moved to the water yet early in the season. Always have a pair of setting tools for my 160s. Now, if you set very many of these 160s in a day, your arms are going to get tired. These will save you. They have a lot of wear and tear on your body. And of course, I use a three pound small sledge. Driving in my rebar stakes. It's also good for uh, digging trap beds. We give, on the line, I'll give you a little bit more uh, detail about my lures and baits, how I use them, why I use them. It's just a quick little rundown of my traps and some of the equipment I do carry with me on the trap line. Hey folks, it's the uh, night before the Illinois trapping season. I'm just getting prepared actually. It's been a uh, hectic. I've been traveling, doing a lot of uh, deer hunting for my TV show. But I'm going to kind of show you what I carry along in the trap line with me, how I keep my stuff organized. What I have here is just a, uh, well I guess just a, Portable little toolbox that I got at a home improvement store. It has a large compartment inside, several pouches, which is great for lure and bait. But I'm going to show you what I take along. What I have here is a safety for a Connor Bears 120, or excuse me, 160, 220, uh, 280, 330. Always have two of those with me. In case I lose one, and it's real handy just to put these right here in a pocket. Now, everything's starting out organized, but chances are it's not going to be organized when it's all said and done. I also carry uh, setters for dog proof. I don't always use them. If I'm setting a lot of dog proofs before the day's over, I probably will use a setter. Just save a little bit of your hands. Again, I carry two of those. Nothing else you'll see with me. Now, I don't use these a lot. 
but these are uh, foothold setters. Now I will use them some, but you know, uh, a lot of times I just use my knee, but they're there if I need them. I don't very often. The saw. Now, this is good for making drags. Sometimes you need to make some cuts for a get a set in. You gotta have a saw there. Feels like it's full of dirt. I work on that before I put it back in. It's probably not been clean since trapping season last year. Carry some orange tape. I don't remember the last time I ever used it, but it's there if I need it. Really, honestly, don't know when I used it last. Carry a couple different crimps. Now, most of the time, this will just stay right in my vehicle. I usually can park pretty close to my set or it'll be on my four builder. Another thing I take are small bathroom cups, drinking cups. Now I use those for my PVC sets, which I'll explain to you while I'm out there on the line. Something else I have, I have slider locks. Put them right in there. And always carry extra trap tags. You don't want to get a silly ticket for not having your traps properly identified so whenever you set a trap before you walk away always make sure there's a trap tag on it if not please put one on to avoid a fine now with that being said I've got plenty of room in here for uh, my lures and baits I'll talk to you about that right now all right now I keep all my lures and baits in a little dormitory type fridge out in my shed mainly just because I don't want to uh, stink up the house I'm trying to keep a peaceful marriage, but you know, keeping them nice and cool, they'll last season to season with no problem. I mean, I have everything out here from my lures, baits, urines, oils, it's all out here. But I like to go through and just kind of take a look at what I think I'll be using, put it in my uh, tote here, and have on the line with me. For instance, I just pulled out a, a Boar's Delight. It's a Coon Glen lure. Now, there's no need for me to carry this on the trap line. It's a, this lure is a lure I like to use late season when the coon are rutting. So that's just taking up space and something that I could lose out there on the line. So I'm not going to take that with me. But, no. Now here, here we go. Uh, raccoon call food lure. Now I'll take a couple of these with me. Always need a couple of those. Got everything out here with me. I mean, catfish bait. All right, we got my uh, tote all packed up here. Just kind of show you how it's organized um, for now, anyway. Uh, got my lures, baits in there, fish oil, shellfish oil. Even got some peanut butter. Something else I'll put in there. I'll put in some cotton swabs, Q-tips, what have you. So when I'm using these here large wide mouth jars I can just put a q-tip in use it throw my bait down lure down go in and steal some of those from my wife here in a little bit another thing I need to put in is my wire cutters and, uh, and we'll be good to go can't wait